Hi and welcome, my name is Jamie Hartley from Crossfader, we're an online DJ school and this video is all about those of you sat there thinking, you know what, I'd love to learn to DJ, I'd love to start and become a DJ, but how, how do I go about starting, what do I need to think about? This video is for you. Enjoy! One of the first things you're going to need to decide as a brand new DJ is what equipment to buy. There is so much on the market nowadays and it's a bit of a minefield. Now my main recommendation here, I'm not going to tell you which particular product to buy right here right now but my main recommendation is to watch as many reviews on here on YouTube on Facebook read as many reviews just google the products that you're thinking of and just get a real good idea of not only the equipment but the software that is used with it if you don't own a laptop or a computer then you're looking at something a bit more expensive you want an all-in-one unit or some form of CDJ player mixer setup so you really need to decide what kind of setup you want to start with. There are some great entry-level controllers on the market if you already own a laptop or a computer which run a piece of software on that computer and it just controls that software. We've got a comparison review of the three most popular ones out currently as when I'm filming this video, which you can check out. I'll just have the card pop up and then you can make a decision maybe from them if you want to go for the budget option there are things if you want to spend a bit more money, you can get something a bit more robust. But figuring out where you want to start equipment wise is probably the most important thing because you can't DJ without it. You see next, you need to fall in love with the art of being a DJ. It's something that is often overlooked. There are hundreds of other people just like you watching this video that want to become a DJ. Now you need to think, why do you want to become a DJ? And I guarantee that a lot of people, they want to become a DJ because they want to put their hands up on stage and they want everyone to be looking, clapping along, woo, screaming at them and giving them that endorphin rush, making them feel good. Now, that's great, but that's not what being a DJ is. Being a DJ is falling in love with mixing music, playing with music, getting creative on your piece of DJ equipment. It's really putting sets together. It's understanding how music can, when mixed, create something unique and special and then that translates over to the audience which creates a special moment which maybe makes them put their hands in the air and scream at you as you're stood on the stage but you need to not focus on that you need to focus on the creative mixing performing with music part of DJing if you're solely focused on the popularity side of DJing and wanting to be the center of attention I guarantee you're not going to enjoy it <laughs> So next, you're going to need to think about building a music library. Now, I started back when vinyl was how to start building a music library and paying for singles, records, LPs, and building the music library that way. Now, luckily, you live in a day and age where a lot of things are digital. Now, I'm not putting you off building a music collection this way, but you want to start thinking about what music do you want to play? What kind of genre are you really into? What is your passion in the music industry? What genres do you really love to listen to and then want to eventually mix? Now, where to get music from? There are so many sources out there to get music, but my main tip is please, please, please don't just rip tracks from YouTube, from SoundCloud, because what you're doing is ripping a lower quality version of that track. And if you end up playing that track on a bigger sound system, in a club, in a bar, way further down your DJ career, it's not going to hold up to the system and to other professionally mastered songs. So make sure if you're downloading music, you're downloading the official music either from a paid source like iTunes or uh, different DJ pools. There are promo lists that you can get onto. A lot of DJs find their way onto different mailing lists so they get sent music from record labels. And somewhere in between that are paid record pool services, places like DJ City or BPM Supreme or a Digital CD Pool or DJ Pool. Um, there are different places where you can pay a subscription fee and get access to full quality music that you then have to rate and the record pools will send the information back to the record labels. But that's something you really need to start thinking about is building up your music library. If you want to get a head start, we've got an exclusive Crossfader music pack that you can download for free. So just click the link that appears either in the card or click the link in the description and you can download that for free to start building your music library up. And then naturally, the next step is learning how to DJ. And that's something we specialize in. Um, you don't have to learn via an online DJ school like we are. You can just practice and experiment and look for free tutorials. But something that we do is package all of our 
courses into a chronological order so that you learn in a very specific way. You learn one skill and then how to apply that skill creatively and then learn another skill and then how to combine those skills together. Um, and they're all filmed in this space here. We've got a nice rig set up so you can see an overhead angle of the equipment. I talk along as we go through the tutorials and I'll explain and break down exactly what's going on. And that's just one way of learning. There are so many ways of learning and you can do it just by experimenting and playing yourself. But this is just a point for me to say, hey, we have online DJ courses. If you want to learn, then check them out. And last but not least, you're going to need to practice and practice lots and don't feel like DJing is just going to happen overnight and learning to master this amazing creative skill is just something that happens. Lots of practice is required, so you need to make sure you set aside that time and be strict with it, be dedicated and say to yourself, now is my time to practice this new hobby, this new craft that I want to master. And that's it. I tried to make this a fun and enjoyable video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in another of our videos very soon. See ya.